Hi, I am Dr. Vicki Stein, and I would like to welcome you to the ABCs of Improving Your Mental Health with Lifestyle Changes. Today, we are going to be talking about adrenal glands and adaptogens. Your adrenal glands are small glands that sit on the top of your kidneys, and they are about the size of a walnut. They are responsible for secreting cortisol. Cortisol is one of our stress hormones. They are also involved in some other body functions, such as helping us to manage blood sugar and helping with managing our sex hormones. But today we are gonna focus on their, their primary function, which is helping us to manage stress. When we experience stress, our body responds in a very specific way. And that stress response is supposed to be reserved for special occasions, meaning times that our body is actually in danger. But unfortunately, in today's world, our body and our mind often get confused about what is considered dangerous. So we might have an increased stress response for taking a test, or doing a presentation, or being in a pandemic shutdown. So when we get into the stress response and we stay in that stress response, instead of coming back to a calm baseline, our adrenal glands can sometimes get a little bit overworked. And in getting overworked, in, in functional medicine, there is a term called adrenal fatigue, which means that the adrenal glands are not working as well as they should. In conventional medicine, that term is typically called adrenal dysfunction, meaning that sometimes the adrenal glands work well and other times not so well. And the end result is that a person with adrenal dysfunction might feel brain fog, might have, a tr have trouble concentrating, might have fatigue or even experience anxiety. So what we want to do is we want to improve the adrenal function by helping to stay, keep the body in a rest and digest state instead of staying in a fight or flight state. So how do we do that? Fortunately, there are a lot of different tools that we have available to us that can help. One of the first things that we can do is by creating some kind of activity that helps us to feel calm and safe and at peace. And the list for what those activities might be is really quite lengthy and depends on whatever it is that you enjoy doing. So it could be something as simple as taking a walk outside or taking a hot bath. It might be practicing yoga or Tai Chi or reading a book or playing with a pet or getting a hug if you can do that safely. I suggest that you make a long list of all of the things that you enjoy doing and keep that list handy so that in a time of stress or anxiety, you can refer to that list and pick at least one thing that you can go and do right at that moment to help bring your body back into a rest and digest state. There are also some supplements that you can take. Vitamin B5 and vitamin C are both vitamins that the adrenal glands use a lot of. So when you're in a very stressful, extended stressful time, supplementing with vitamin C and B5 can be extremely helpful. Both of these vitamins are water soluble, so taken at an appropriate dose, they are really quite safe. You can also take adaptogens. Adaptogens are herbal supplements that have been very well researched they are known to support the adrenal glands in addition to supporting and helping the body in many other functions. Some of the common adrenal uh, support herbs, the adaptogens, are things like rhodiola, uh, ginseng, and ashwagandha. These are supplements that can be found individually packaged, but can also be found in a, a proprietary blend depending on the company. They're usually under labels like adrenal essence or adrenal support, and you can find them in a health food store or you can find them on reputable websites on the internet or from a practitioner. And a final note in terms of supplements, please be sure that you check with your doctor before you take any supplements. Supplements need to be vetted by your doctor simply because they are not inert. They can 
uh, interfere with or interact with medication. And if you, so specifically, if you are on medication, you should absolutely check with your doctor. But also if you have other physical issues, it is very wise to always check with your doctor before purchasing and starting a supplement program. In the meantime, why don't you check the weather and take a nice walk outside or play with your cat or dog or get a hug from your partner. Thank you so much for joining me today and join me tomorrow as we talk about the B vitamins.